Hey everyone, welcome to today's session on insulin dose calculation. So if you want to treat a diabetic patient with insulin, understanding how to calculate the right dose is very essential. So in this video, I'll be teaching you step by step how to calculate both basal dose and bolus insulin dose using a formula that I have derived from an article for which the link will be given in the description um, below. Okay, so uh, let's get started here. Say we have a person whose weight is 70 kilograms and he's about to eat a lunch and his lunch contains carbohydrate of 100 grams and his before lunch, so pre-lunch uh, blood sugar is 300 milligrams per deciliter. Okay, so we have a 70 kg man his carbohydrate, uh, his lunch contains carbohydrate of 100 grams and uh, his pre-lunch blood sugar is 300 milligrams per deciliter and currently this person is not under any insulin therapy. So how do we uh, calculate the dose of insulin for this patient? So the first step here is to calculate the total daily dose of insulin for this patient. So what is the total amount of dose, uh, insulin dose this patient requires? So since this patient is not under any insulin therapy, we will estimate his starting dose using a standard formula. And that formula is 0.6 to 1 unit per kg per day. So his total daily dose will be 0.6 to 1 unit per kg. So taking 0.6 here, so 0 0.6 into his weight is 70 so that turns out to be 42 units per day so this patient uh, requires total daily dose of 42 units of insulin all right so now uh, let's calculate the basal dose from this formula so after we calculate the total daily dose his total basal dose of insulin all right so this basal insulin, it will help control the fasting blood sugar and uh, maintains the blood glucose level between the meals. So when the patient is not eating, so this basal uh, dose insulin will help control his blood sugar. This is typically 40% of the total daily dose. Right? So his basal dose will be 40% of that total daily dose, that's 42%. So that will be around um, 17 units. Okay, so his basal dose will be 17 units. And in basal dose, we will use long-acting insulin. So we'll give long-acting insulin. That will be insulin glargin or insulin detmir. Okay, and it is usually given at night. So the basal dose will be 17 units in this patient. The next thing we need to calculate will be correction factor okay so this is also called as insulin uh, sensitivity factor and this will tell us how much one unit of insulin will lower the blood glucose level in this patient all right so the correction factor the formula to calculate this will be 1800 divided by total daily dose so that is 1800 divided by 42 in this patient that comes out to be around 43 milligrams per deciliter all right, so one unit of insulin will lower the blood sugar level in this patient by 43 milligrams per deciliter. Okay, so that's one thing. Now, here, we after calculating the correction factor, we will calculate the correction dose. Okay. So since the blood sugar of this patient is 300 milligrams per deciliter, okay? So his blood sugar is 300 milligrams per deciliter. To cal uh, the formula to calculate the correction dose will be the patient's blood sugar minus target blood sugar. So 300 minus target, our target blood sugar is 120, okay? So we need to keep it below 120. Divide by correction factor, all right? So it is 180 divided by our correction factor is 42 here 43 here so 43 so that is around uh, 4 units or 4.2 units okay 
so our correction dose is 4.2 units of insulin now the next thing uh, we need to calculate is carbohydrate to insulin ratio cir so carbohydrate to insulin ratio it will tell us how much one unit of insulin covers how many grams of carbohydrate okay so here the formula to calculate this is 500 divided by total daily dose that is 500 divided by 42 and the value comes 12 grams so one unit of insulin in this patient will cover 12 grams of carbohydrate okay and here uh, as we have mentioned above the amount of carbohydrate in his diet is 100 grams okay and for 12 grams he needs one unit of insulin so in 100 grams of carbohydrate that's present in his meal he will be requiring 100 divided by 12 that is 8.3 units of insulin okay so for his meal of 100 grams of carbohydrate he will require 8.3 units of insulin but here we have our correction dose okay since his blood sugar level is already high we have calculated the correction dose and that is 4.2 units so the actual amount of insulin he requires to uh, compensate this 100 grams of carbohydrate will be 8.3 units plus our correction dose that is 4.2 units so that becomes 12.5 units and uh, since we do not inject any partial units we'll round it up up to 13 units so 13 units of insulin will be given to this patient before his lunch uh, before he consumes 100 grams of carbohydrate in his lunch when his blood sugar level is 300 milligrams per deciliter and the uh, basal dose for this patient is 17 units so he this patient will be taking 17 units of long acting insulin in the night and before his lunch when his blood sugar level was 300 and his carbohydrate containing 100 grams uh, sorry his meal containing 100 grams of carbohydrate he require 13 units of uh, rapid acting insulin before his lunch so this is how we uh, calculate the precise dose of insulin in this patient and similarly we can also calculate the dose uh, of insulin required for his dinner by calculating the uh, amount of uh, carbohydrate that's present in his dinner and then his blood sugar before dinner so and then using the same technique above here we need we can calculate the dose of insulin required to uh, cover up these uh, values here so this is how we calculate the insulin dose precisely and more specific being more specific to the patient thank you